What's up you guys, Tools in Action. Today, I am very, very, very excited because I've seen this product for years and I've always wanted to check it out and now we've checked it out and we have one. It's called? Spitz Lift. The Spitz Lift. Why do they call it Spitz Lift? I don't know why they call it Because that. that's the guy's last name. That's the guy's the last guy, name. The guy that invented it. But this is very cool. It's a way for you, like for one person to actually, it's like a crane for the back of your pickup truck. So if you got heavy stuff on there that you have to put on or take it off and you're by yourself, this will help assist with it. <laughs> exactly. And you know, I've, you guys are saying right now, oh, I saw that at Harbor Freight, or I saw one at Harbor Freight. Not da, this. Da, da. No, not this. They do have pickup truck cranes out there, you guys. We did do a review on one, but I got to say it sucked. Really? Only Because it was, I needed a crane to lift the crane. It oh, weighed like heavy? 300 pounds, oh, yeah. yeah, just to try to lift it together. This, you guys, the heavy parts are right here, which is the stand, and this part right here is just aluminum. So that's what takes all the weight. Now, the cool thing about Spitz Lift is you don't have to get the pickup truck version. You can go ahead and get the uh, standard mounted version in your bed. They have like uh, hard point mounts, so oh, mount really? on okay, boats, wow. mount them on, uh, you know, the Navy uses them, believe it or not. Yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah, the Navy and Army cool. uses these like crazy. They put them on the side of boats, <laughs> lifting things. I mean, this one can lift up to 700 pounds. And uh, basically, it's, uh, it's really crazy how it works. Like this right here, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you too much because it's, it's... But to let it go, you just let it go like this, and it holds the weight. Yeah. Most time when you see a winch like this, you have to mess around and, like pull it a little you have bit. To lock it Flip place, the latch. Yeah. With this, no. It's just righty-tighty, lefty-loosey will bring it down, and it holds the load. Yeah. Which is crazy. So, and then, you know, the handle comes off with this little uh, latch right here. Definitely for quality, you guys. You know, I went a little far with that. Definitely uh, for quality, I'm thinking Spitz Lift is the number one crane out there. Portable crane. The aluminum makes it light, okay? Uh, I don't know the, the weights off the top of my head, but. Weights up. The, of this. the Yeah, but lift it. Just lift it. Tell me what you think. Oh, no, I know it's light. We did it when we put it together. Yeah. And we took out the plow out of my truck, which is about three. <laughs> 300 pounds? Probably, yeah. And we've been loading generators in and out of trucks, stuff like Just that. Just testing it, working yeah, with it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, different configurations for different vehicles, you know? I mean, there's different heights and stuff like that. We notice that you do want it to use it always kind of on the driver's side, just the way that the winch is. Yes. Because if you use it on the passenger side, it's you might winch and hit your truck, actually. So it's got to be on the driver's side. That in no way hampers the uh, way things no, come out. Uh -uh, it just, no, no. It'll go in your bed. Swing and swing out. Now, has maximum lifting capacities right on the side here, depending on where you put the um, the pen. the pen. Yeah, exactly, yep. Eric. And what's cool, made in America. So, I think that's cool. For me, that's important. I think that's a pretty cool thing. So No, that's huge, you yeah. guys. We love that it's made in America. So, like I said, this this part right here is the part that we're going to show you how to just, we're going to put it together right now real fast. But this part right here is the part that comes with, the, this is the base. So we're not concerned about that currently. So this right goes in here, or are you, gonna, are you not going to put that, show that? Yeah, so basically, we're going to throw this crane together. And once it's together, you just slide it into its base. So we're going to say we got the base on the pickup truck already. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen it up. We're gonna unhook it from back here. Give me some uh, slack. slack. There, there we go. go. Like that. You can take it off. It comes apart. This comes off, Enrique. Can I hold that, please? You could do it with one person, but when you have it with one person, it helps. Bless you. Thank you. Then we're gonna flip it upside down. Obviously, this is the base pole, you guys. So this part right here, there's a slit. Do you see the slit in it? This is that ends coming to me. Yeah. But show them the slit. As you can right see here. that slit, that's what's gonna go into the crane itself. So I'm gonna go right here. Can I have a or did you give me a pen? Uh right over here. So I'm gonna put my pen in right here. Lock it. And then depending on where we wanna go here, we have all these holes. So this right here is 500 pounds, 600 pounds, 700 pounds. So let's go to the max lifting capacity, right? Which is going to be super high. And then a little more towards you, right there. Put that in there. And then that's it, you guys. That's the assembly. Now, obviously, this is in super high mode. So when it's sitting, it's going to be like this. And that's going to be the crane, yep. and we're going to be able to pick up the maximum amount of weight with that. 
So, then we want to tear it down. We're just going to pop the pins. Take this aluminum piece away. Got fold it. this in. Put that aluminum piece back. And what holds the two together is just the, the crane. But I'll, we'll put the pins in first, Eric, if you, if you don't mind. So a little bit of assembly, not a lot of assembly though, compared to those other cranes. But the cool thing about it being portable like this is that you can, you know, put it away in your truck. You don't have to mess around with it, right? Mm -hmm. So Eric's gonna do that, bring that around, please. Nicely, then we're gonna go here. We're gonna crank it around Slides nicely. Oh, what happened Eric? Oh. Boom, that's go. like that this comes off Boom goes into your vehicle nice and flat nice and easy easy to maneuver easy easy to move around now uh, Like I said there's all kinds of different ways we could use this. You know, we're going to use it for a pickup truck crane, but I think I'm also going to try to figure out a way to use it with the vent track. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, because, I be mean, cool. a lot of the times I'm out, like, areas that I can't take my truck that I want to lift in capacity, that I want to lift things or yeah. swing around into a trailer or something like that, and this would be the perfect uh, 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 crane for that. You know, high-intensity strap on here. You know, 700 pounds is what this is going to hold, so you're not going to have any issues up to 700 pounds. And even when you have 700 pounds in the, the air, you definitely just push it and it just moves around because mm -hmm. it, it just turns so easy. Now... That being said, be careful on inclines. Okay? Yeah, that's a good point. Because if good you're point. on a crazy incline and you hook this up, when this thing lifts the weight up, it's going to want to swing towards that incline. So safety first, you guys, you always want to be on a flat surface. Otherwise, this thing's going to be moving. In a situation where you're on an incline, I would totally recommend that you uh, get a second person. True, good point. You know, to hold the load. They'll be able to hold the load, trust me. Um, so good stuff. Spitz lift, you guys. Spitzlift.com. We'll put, uh, we want you guys to comment at the bottom. What do you guys think? I mean, literally, you guys, I've been looking at this thing for years, and this is one of the coolest things that I think uh, we've ever had here in the Tools in Action household. The Tools in Action house. Who's yep, I like the it. The house of TIA. Hashtag TIA crew. Don't forget to go to toolsinaction.com and don't forget to say uh, happy birthday. It's Eric's birthday. Tools in Action. For more exciting tool action, go to Tools in Action dot com.